Imagine you are sitting in an excavator with a task to start construction work right now. The excavator is on an open field where no markings have been done and you are completely alone. This is possible with 3D machine control and here is how it works. We need to know how the machine is moving, a calibrated machine. We need to know where the machine is, an accurate position. We need to know what to build and where to build it, a 3D design model. We need to link the 3D design model to a GNSS position with the right coordinate system. As a starting point, the machine is calibrated, so we always know where the bucket is relative to the machine. So how do we get a centimeter accurate position of the machine? The 3D machine control system uses a GNSS receiver. While this GNSS receiver uses multiple satellite signals and powerful measurement engines to calculate the position, it is still not accurate enough for construction work. This deviation is because of many external factors such as signal travel time from satellites to receiver. Therefore, we use a correction source on a known position that constantly sends the current GNSS position deviation for the job site. The GNSS receiver recalculates its position with this correction data and now we have a centimeter accurate position. But that's not all. Our Earth is neither flat, nor is it a perfectly round ball. To compensate for that, the 3D model designers place their models in a coordinate system covering the job site area. The actual 3D design file can be in any open 3D design file format, like a Geosystems machine control can work with them. We must use the exact same coordinate system in the 3D machine control system. Many users include the coordinate system files as part of the 3D design project package. When you load the project package to the machine control system, you will see the 3D design on the machine control panel and exactly where you are in the design. That's all you need. You can now start working with the machine and make the bucket accurately follow the 3D design. And that is basically how 3D machine control works. Thanks for watching.